Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, today we're going to be going through uh, the camp kitchen basically. And um, uh, last video I mentioned that I kept it all in the side pockets to save the hassle of pulling everything uh, out of the main pack, uh, the main pouch of your Bergen. Um, what I did forget to mention is these side pockets come off and double as a day sack, uh, which is ideal. Like if you um, have a base camp or whatever, you can just whip the side pockets off. These zip together like so, and that's that. You can you can just easily carry this around, um, which is ideal really because you know it's not necessary. Your, your campsite is not necessarily always close to the kitchen. Um, so yeah, whipping this off just makes life uh, much easier. So I'm going to go through everything. Um, this basically covers a vast range of all types of cooking in, it, in the wild. I don't necessarily take it all at one time, but um, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to the cooking side of things. So I like to have it, most of it, most of the time. Um, and I, I can basically cook anything that you'd be able to cook at home uh, with the use of a fire as well. Um, so I won't waste any more time. I'll start going through this and uh, I'll explain everything as I go along. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so we go through this now. Um, like I said, you can have this as a day sack if you choose to. So we'll go with this pocket first. Right, starting off, is a, I like to carry a flask. It's always a good idea to have a, sort of a cup, a thermal cup, that you can make a brew the night before and keep it, keep it in your sleeping bag with you. It's the perfect thing to wake up to, um, especially in the hammock. Uh, it's, it's just the greatest. Doubles up as a hot water bottle as well, so everything is multi-use. So we'll start with that. Now, I carry some um, essential sort of flavours with me, so I got coffee, sugar, and uh, these tubs are great. They're made by Nalgene. I got these from uh, Cotswolds, but um, yeah, I'll definitely be getting some more of them. They're just so handy for everything. So, basic flavours, salt and pepper. I got some chilli and uh, cumin in there, just to flavour things up, so you can always make something tasty. Um, I like to make real bread on the trail. Everybody goes on about this bannock, and um, I don't really rate it as a as a bread. I think it's dry and heavy. So um, I take some real yeast with me and do a proper bread, which I'll show you in an, a, a later date, hopefully. Um, some pepper grinder, and uh, so I got a little camping frying pan. This is great for two, up to two people. Uh, it's been with me for some time. It's, it's out of battering, but is, I'm amazed on how non-stick it is still. Yeah, um, I put massive amount of food in there, and it's just held its, it's worth its weight in gold. And then, with the addition of the plate, um, you've got yourself a ready-made oven, uh, which I, I tend to have just a bed of coal, I leave it on there. You can bake a loaf of bread in there, um, which I will show you in a future video, um, but it works great. No recipe or weights required, you just mix it up and it tends to always work, luckily enough. So yeah, that gets buried in the coal. You put some hot coals on the top. You basically got a little oven there. Always a tin of spam. Um, and then I've got this uh, little four litre container, which I just keep my rations. So I've got plenty of different things in there. I've even got some seeds for growing. Um, you know, there's some stock cubes and noodles and some of the bachelor's flavoured rice with a couple, couple of cup of soups. Um, so it's always like nice to have something, and it's important to have something that you can enjoy as well. And then we've just got some paprika and some garlic granules. They're brilliant. They just make everything tasty. And uh, yeah, I always carry some books with me as well. So. I guess this is covered in food, so we got that. That's a really nice book. It's got some really nice illustrations in it. I think it's mega cheap on um, Amazon, this one. Um, there is a newer one, but I just tend to like the older ones with the, with the little drawings. I think it's brilliant. So yeah, that's that. They go in a waterproof bag all the time. So that brings us to the next pouch. 
I'll go through this uh, separately in a minute. Um, that's just utensils and etc. Um, I don't necessarily always carry this, but it is handy to have. It boils water in no time at all. It tends to be a one-trick pony though. Um, yeah, it literally only boils water. You try cooking something in there, it's just going to burn to the bottom straight away. So yeah, it's a basically a posh water boiler that you spend a hundred quid on. Um, so yeah, that's that. I've got the um, adapter so you can use the frying pan or whatever on there as well. And, uh, Um, some cooking oil and bread flour that's basically all I take for rations um, it, it tends to see me through so I could have a cup of soup with a uh, homemade bread or some noodles with some spam in it and flavor it up with uh, the chili and garlic or whatever and then uh, the main cook, part, um, cook system is this uh, and I'll always carry this, the plate and the, the pan. It's only the jet boil that I'll decide whether or not to take. Uh, obviously, if you want to be stealthy, you're just going to use the jet boil. Dog digging a hole behind it. Right, so first out, I got um, just one of the Trangia 27 kettles. Now, that's brilliant. It just gives you the option to have your main cooking pot with the, your meal in, and then you can still make a brew at the same time. And uh, inside that, we got some baby wipes. I use them for everything. That's what you clean the insides of the pans with, you clean yourself with. Uh, they're worth their weight in gold as well. And then that brings us to the main pot. Um, so this is the pot that I use. Now uh, this is the, this is made by Solo Stove. It's not cheap, but it is brilliant. Um, obviously, you've got your hanging uh, be your bail arm there. But inside this, as part of the system, you've got this um, wood burning stove. Now, this is a, this is an amazing bit of kit. I'm going to fire this up in a minute and uh, cook myself some lunch. Um, but yeah, that's just fits on top like so, uh, and it's really efficient. I, I use this underneath the tarp and I've never had a problem, so it's, it's worth it. Oh, it's a brilliant bit of kit. Um, but we'll fire that up and I'll uh, go through it with you. And then the uh, last bit of kit in here is uh, just one of them cheapy wind stoves. Now, th this is absolutely brilliant. They're only four or five pounds. Um, you can get them in Sports Direct. Uh, yeah, but that can go around the fire, obviously, if it's windy or whatever. I use it around the natural fire as well, so anyway, I'm going to light the stove up. I'm not going to do anything posh, so there's no point in um, showing you how I'm lighting it. I'm just going to get a lighter in there and get it going as quick as possible. Uh, and when I get around to that, I'll come back to you. As you can see how that works, it's, it's a brilliant box kit really. It's got a little ledge on the top, a uh, little groove on the top to keep the top handle up, which is great. And um, I use these. Uh, these are an underrated tool in bushcraft, I think. But, uh, it's perfect for this, because you can just Cut your cut your sticks as you as however you like, and then they can just be fed straight into there. Then so I'm not going to be making anything posh to it. I'm just I'm hungry, so I'm going to cook something, and uh, I thought it'd be nice that if I could share it with you guys. Um, yeah.
All right, so while we wait for our water to come to the boil, um, we'll start going through utensils. Now I always keep this uh, in my pocket when I'm going out. It's just a little off, you know, um, open all number eight. It's quite a popular one. Uh, they're razor sharp and they're really easy to keep sharp as well. It's got a little locking device on it, but I think, I'm, I'm not sure if they are British legal or not, but you'll have to check up on that. Um, I guess it's with re reasonable cause anyway, so yeah, so there's always that. <coughs> and uh, this is just a first aid pouch that I use as my kitchen. But in here, in this front bit, um, I've got a Sawyer uh, water filler. Now these are amazing. It, it just means that you don't have to carry any water with you, um, which obviously keeps your weight down. And then that comes with a straw that goes on there so you can drink directly out the stream or whatever. And it comes with this clean in syringe, which I always like to keep because I, ha I do put really like rancid water through that so it does get blocked up. For now. So going into the main bit of this, it's either handy because you can open up and you've got a reasonably clean surface to work on straight away. So um, we've got a tea towel here. Um, this is just a MSR small kitchen, uh, I don't know what they call them, um, but you buy them as a set. I think it's £15 and comes with a, a few different items. So you can obviously know you the, the uses of these are the same as what you'd have at home. Um, I just got some little tongs and then a knife, fork and spoon. Uh, that's your cutlery covered. Some uh, antibacterial hand wash and some washing up liquid. Um, I carry this as well, this is just a metal scourer which I can clean and keep using. That's donkey's years old, I wouldn't like to imagine the bacteria in there but because I'm heating everything, uh, it's not so bad. And then we've just got two little chopping boards. Now, this one's got a little um, sort of colander on it, which is absolutely great because you can just put it over the edge of your pan and strain off the water, which I'm sure you'll see in a minute. And then we've just got a tin opener with a corkscrew, bottle opener. You know, there's many uses for that. And then another little salt and pepper shaker and a lighter. And that basically covers everything. Um, I've never needed any more than that. And, uh, well, I... I a chef by trade so and I tell you in confidence with this arrangement and uh, the use of a fire you can pretty much make anything that you'd get in a restaurant which uh, hopefully you get to see some of these dishes soon so yeah again just uh, cook these noodles now and uh, I'll get back to you again all right so while the boat is boiling I'm just gonna add the noodles I don't know how you like to do it, but I like to keep the little sachet till the very end. Um, but all I'm going to do here, because I want to fry the spam, I'm just going to drop them in. Bash the lid back on. Give that a minute. Um, wood on here. Yeah, like I said, I don't know why pe more people don't use these, so they're absolutely phenomenal to have with you. Just saves them messing around, snapping sticks every two seconds. And you can um, cut it to whatever size you like, so you can... If you're a bit anal with things like that, you can cut them all exactly the same size. Bloody dog! <laughs> Make some noise. Um, and that's them done, so I'm just going to leave them sit on the side and we'll bash the frying pan on. I don't know whether you can see, but it doesn't actually let off a lot of smoke either, so they are great little things, these wood burning stoves. Um, you can get cheaper ones, uh, like £25, um, I can't remember what they're called, but if you just type in wood stove in uh, Amazon or eBay, you'll see a lot of options. Let's put 
probably getting a bit too hot here in a minute. I'm just going to chop this up really random. Oh. Bit of oil in there. Um, this is an extra virgin olive oil mixed with vegetable oil because I'm posh like that. And then that just gets chopped into chunks, just random. That's enough for me and then the dog can have the rest. Go Lil! Lil success! Oh my god! I can hear her but she's not coming. Oh my god. Who did? Come on! She's walking through the brambles up the there. What's this, Lil? Yeah. Come on in. These noodles are just cooking their own heat in there, see? Let's drink some of this water off. I like to leave a little bit of water in there. It's nice to have a bit of a broth to drink, I think. Um, this absolutely smells amazing. I, I could add a bit more flavours, but I'm just going to keep it really basic. No point messing around. Goody. Come here. What's this? Go on in. So I'm just going to tip all that in, oil and all. And like I said, this is absolutely amazing non-stick. See, it's pretty much as clean as um, when I got here. Let's put that somewhere where it's not going to burn anything. And, like I said, because I'm a posh, I'm just going to bash some ground pepper up in there. That's always a nice little addition with Spam. You can buy the one with pepper in, but it's not the same if it's fresh ground, is it? And that'll do. And there we have it, a nice little simple camping dish with um, a broth to drink as well.
Right, so here's a closer look at the, the wood burner. And um, what makes it so effective is it draws the air up through these holes here and uh, heats it up as um, the wood burns and then the flames actually start coming through the holes and it's not burning the wood, it's burning the gas that the wood is creating. Uh, it makes it a super efficient stove and you could have this going all night with just a handful of wood, it's absolutely brilliant. They're not cheap but they do a, a range of them so you can get a smaller one than this, this is the middle one. And this is called the Solo Stove Titan and uh, this is the Solo Stove 1800 pot I believe. Um, that's the absolute ideal size. So it's it's the same as the uh, Zebra Billy can that everyone's using. I actually swapped my Zebra Billy can with my sister. I give her about hundred pounds worth of equipment for uh, a metal spork, uh, which was actually a fake in the end, and then I lost it. So it cost me all all the equipment I give her for the spoon, and in the end, I just lost it. So. Oh well, you learn from your mistakes. Now to stow the stove, to save um, the noise of it rattling, I put the tea towel in and then that just goes in there. It fits as snug as a rug. That rattles, but then uh, I've got a small tub of matches that go in there and then the scourer goes in there as well. So it's not making too much noise. I'm happy with that. That goes like that. And I pull the bell on and that's that. Obviously to save all your equipment getting black, it's always a good idea to put it into a stuffed bag. Even a carry bag uh, is good enough. This is the old bag from the military basher that we see me uh, set up in the last video. And that is. Just makes it easier as if I don't, just need the pan I can whip this out of the side pocket and just go with that to wherever I'm requiring it. So here's what the backpack looks like on, well the side pocket for the day set. Um, it comes with a centre belt as well, so it's, it is really comfortable. And so that's it guys, that brings us to the end of another video. Um, I hope you find it of use and hopefully you can take something away from it. Um, like I said, I normally carry all of this equipment apart from the jet boil. Or if I was just doing some light backpacking up on the hills, I'd, I'd only take the jet boil. It's, it's really, um, it, it depends on what you're doing on the day, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, thank you very much for joining me again and hopefully uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you very much.